Well, hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to be discussing my solar array shading and a string setup. My array consists of 48 panels divided into four strings, 12 panels per each string. Each string has uh, uh, six panels connected in a series and those two series connected parallel, consisting of that first string. Now, uh, you will see how I connected those panels now coming up on the animations and graphs and you will see what kind of a production and how fast of a production do I get from those strings. The first red line shows the first six panels how they're connected and they start producing first and then as the shade moves next six panels kick in for a production on a string one. Now this repeats throughout all four strings. This same exact setup. You will see that coming up here soon for a string two and string three and string four. Now I had all winter to ponder on this and see how am I going to set them up. I decided to do it this way so I could avoid buying DC optimizers for the panels and whatnot. I think this is the best solution without going and spending extra money on another equipment and introducing another failure point somewhere in the system. Now on the bottom graph you can see data pulled straight out of the um, inverter one and it shows the production during the sun hours and for the April it's from 11 to 7 on a bright sunny day. Uh, it will be interesting to see how this looks like during the entire summer with the cloudy, with the cloudy times and whatnot. But for now this works best for me. Um, the production starts ramping up around 10.30 a.m. Since my solar array is facing 210 degrees south adjusted for declination. South, southwest actually adjusted for declination. Um, it ramps up real quickly because I think the way I set up these panels has probably enabled me to do so. Uh, this video is about six minutes long. Uh, I did have viewers request to see how the shading progresses over the array. And then maybe it will help some of you decide what to do on your solar arrays. Unless you are somewhere in an open field and they just, you know, you have a sun all day long. But this is what I can achieve in my backyard in, you know, modern day suburbia of United States. I hope this gives enough, in, enough explanation as to um, what I'm doing with my system. And as you can see, as I said, the uh, production ramps up around 11 o'clock and then reaches the apex around 1 o'clock and that by that time my batteries are already full so it ramps down. Uh, at this moment I don't have nothing else to spend that energy on and then it goes back down to producing whatever whatever the that leg of split phase requires later on you can see that i turn on the hot water heater uh, i i switched it to heating elements and then it ramps up and it starts uh, heating up water at that time i do increase the water temperature to 135 degrees and you can see it cycle up and down as you know the kids are taking shower the the dishwasher is working or whatever we're doing or washing clothes and whatnot and uh, my production stops around seven o'clock at night that's when they shut off but we are coming to the end of this video it's probably six minutes long you can see us starting to work over there in the backyard during this time lapse, I was doing some raking and picking up the um, branches and whatnot from when I had the trees removed. I am going to have 
you know, some sod lay down over there, or I'm going to, you know, seed it over and whatnot. Well, we'll see how does that go. And finally here you can see that probably around 12.30 or 12.45, the last string is completely out of shade and starts producing power as needed. And of course, as discussed before, by that time the batteries are full. However, I will be getting an electric car and uh, doing some other things. We'll see how's that going to work in the future. I hope this gives you an insight as to how I have this 48 solar panel array set up to at least for me produce the most energy during sunny times of the day. Have a great day.